Hello and welcome back to Tony Northeastern. Here we are at the workbench and I've got the wheels kit in front of me which is the um, gatekeeper's cottage. Um, well it's, it's all been painted now. Um, the roof and the windows and doors have all been glued in place. So the only thing left to do to this is to weather it and to fit in the LED underneath. So I thought I'd just quickly show you this and explain a little bit about this kit. It's um, straightforward in putting, putting it together, but what I found the hardest thing to do is see these corners here. That's when you're actually putting it together, is gluing these corners in because they're dovetail joint. And uh, I found in the end I had to clean out the dovetails before gluing them in together. Um, but apart from that, it went together quite well. So I painted that sandstony colour because the original colour inside is a dully grey. So I've given it a sandstone colour, the same sandstone I used on the new Hassel station a while back. Still got to put a, an LED inside because there's the bracket for it. Uh, made that bit bracket out of a bit of scrap plastic, drilled in the the four mil hole ready to accept the LED, and that's about it really. So I'll weather it using some black Humbro black wash. Okay, all I'm going to do with the black wash is just apply it along the base, and a little bit down the sides. Winter sill, and then get a cotton bud and just wipe it off. Like so. As you can see, it's it's bedded into the stonework. Now it's it's only a subtle weather. It's not. over the top and just do the same there putting very little on the brush as possible just a little bit down there a little bit along the edge And just roll it along. Do and then around the, around the front. Same again, just a very tiny amount. here and there and then just taking it off again. And there you have it. Job done. So, fit the LED and then we'll stick it on the layout. I'm not going to bother putting um, detail inside the cottage for the moment. I might leave that for another another time. Um, just want to press on and get as much done to the um, street scene so I can move on to other areas of the layout. Um, Inside, you could quite easily separate that into two rooms if you wanted to, just by putting a 
plastic strip across the centre and the LED will shine in both if you just make it the same height as that wall there straight across from right to left and you get two two rooms right so next time you see this be on the layout okay while we're at the bench I'll um, quickly show you these bus stop flags and um, blanks and that's what they look like you need uh, two per bus stop and you get uh, ten in a packet um, I found these on eBay and uh, so if you are deciding to do a little bus stop these are the only ones I could find uh, um, there are modern ones um, but these are more or less in keeping what I'm trying to do and uh, here's a bus stop I had made earlier so all I've got to do now is paint that and put it on the layout um, all I'm using for the actual um, post itself is these were left over from when I was doing the fencing for um, high shields so these have come in handy so that's just a quick tip okay and here's the bus stop in situ on station road so the next thing to do is to continue with the track work I have to remove any loose chippings and then paint the rails and then we can move on and start adding little fine details I'm finishing off the level crossing by adding some fence and doing a bit of scenery over the back there up against those houses and there's some um, walls and gardens to be done for the gatekeeper's cottage because that's done now, it's been weathered as you uh, saw earlier and it's in situ so I've got to put a garden there and some paving some other extra bits and pieces and then we can concentrate on the lighting for the station and it's all coming together okay I was asked a question um, on whether these tracks will return back to the lower baseboards and uh, they don't um, once they go across these bridges here they will eventually end up at South Shields. Now the track at the moment finishes here at the pull out draw and eventually they will go across there along the plinths which are just loosely placed back over Stevenson's bank and then onto another baseboard above the fiddle yard baseboard which is here where at the moment it's basically where I keep all my odds and ends at the moment yeah so at the moment this will be the fiddle yard once um, high shields is finished and uh, there's, once the fiddle yard's done I've got to build the control panel for the fiddle yard and the whole layout because at the moment there's only a few points I've got working at the moment so that would be a massive job on this layout and uh, as you can see there's quite a lot of electrical work to do on this layout okay I have now finished the walls and I have put 
the gatekeeper's cottage back in place and this is the rear garden and here is the front garden so I think it's another productive weekend this weekend getting this little area finished and next weekend we'll probably do put the bungalow in place which has got to go up there so I think that's all from me this week see you again next week